Okay, so I know we talk about domains often, but what is a domain? It's a custom web address that you can forward any website to, and we're going to point KV Core to it. For example, Paul's Colorado Properties.com or uh, Paul Sells Colorado.com, whatever web URL you want to link to your website. That's what a domain is. And you can purchase domains from a wide variety of providers. We personally prefer GoDaddy. They're just quick and easy. So jump over to GoDaddy.com. And if you don't have a domain, you can purchase one. For example, you'll jump in here and type in the domain you're searching for or that you're interested in, Paul's Colorado Properties.com. And you can search for that domain. And if it's available, it'll tell you Make it yours. Paul's Colorado Properties.com is available. Look at that. One cent for the first year with a two year registration. So you'd go through the avenues of purchasing this domain. That's step one if you don't have it. Um, so you can forward your KV Core website, which is here's my KV Core website. I want to forward this website to Paul's Colorado Properties.com if that were the domain I was going to purchase. So that when people visit Paul's Colorado Properties.com, they're directed to my KV Core website. So for those of you who do have your domain through GoDaddy, this will help you point your KV Core website to that custom domain. And the first thing you're going to want to do is visit GoDaddy.com. And when you log in, you'll see your name in the top right corner. Go ahead and click on My Products. When you click on my products, you'll see a list of your domains right here. And for this example, I've got an unused domain, lathropmusic.com. Keep in mind, this is this can be any domain. Pretend that this is lathropmusic.com is Paul's Colorado Properties.com, but I actually have access to lathropmusic.com right now, so we're going to use that as an example. So when you have your domain set up, you'll see it here. And the first thing you want to click on over to the right next to your domain is manage. And on the GoDaddy screen under the manage option under manage your domain, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see this section that says connect your domain, connect my site. And we're just going to click on connect my site. Now GoDaddy offers a wide variety of products. You'll see so as you'll see, there are many preloaded destinations. We're going to bypass all of that. Down at the very bottom, you'll see you can forward your domain to any site. That's what we want to do. So you're probably connecting the dots now. If you recall, we've got my KV Core website here. And if we click in the URL bar, this is my specific KV Core URL, my KV Core website. It's Paul Weininger dot equity real estate usa.com and again yours will be first name last name dot equity real estate usa.com but to be very thorough in this process maybe you've got a nickname that you use that's different from your legal name if you want to be absolutely certain you're using the right kv core url for this step jump back in to the main dashboard of your kv core account and just like i showed you previously in the top right corner Click on your name and you'll see your KV Core URL right there. You'll see paulweininger.equityrealestateusa.com. Click on that link. It'll take you to your website. And again, just click on the address bar. And we're going to copy that because we're going to be pasting this into our GoDaddy domain forwarding settings. So we've got our domain here, our KV Core URL copied to our clipboard. And for those of you who don't know, you can highlight that, right-click, uh, select copy, or if you're on a Mac, Command-C. We're going to copy it. We're going to jump back over to our domain GoDaddy account. And right under Forward to Any Site, we're going to paste in our KV Core URL. This is telling GoDaddy that LathropMusic.com should be forwarded to my KV Core website, paulweininger.equityrealestateusa.com. So go ahead and click the next button. And there's some options that you'll confirm. 
If you drop down the advanced options, you can do a permanent forward. And based on my instruction from KV Core, we want to select forward only. The other option is forward with masking. But from what I've been told with KV Core, if you select forward with masking, it's going to prevent some of the features in KV Core from working correctly. I don't have much more information on that um, other than that's what they've told me. So be sure to select forward only. When you click finish, you'll get a notification that says your changes have been completed. And if I start a new tab here and go to lathropmusic.com, which is my personal custom domain. Again, yours could be anything, anything you purchase from GoDaddy, Paul's ColoradoProperties.com, for example. Right now we're just using LathropMusic.com as an example because it's a domain that I own already. We hit enter. Anybody that visits LathropMusic.com is directed to my KV Core website. So be sure that you have that set up so you at least have a website forwarded uh, to your domain so people can find you in a Google search.